By the way, is that a real Bob Woodward account or is it not? Is it is not. not. Is it a fake no, one? No, it's fake. It is fake. <laughs> Don't read it on the air a as bunch news. Of, a bunch of people fell for it. <laughs> a That's bunch of very prominent people. That's the problem people. with Twitter. It's not a, a news very source. very prominent people. Yeah, well, I, it, 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 by the way, if he didn't say it, let's all say it. He said, uh, you know, the money that Trump's suing him for or whatever, that should go toward the, I don't know, 40 million, whatever the number would be, that died because of his negligence, because of what he told Bob Woodward and when but he But Bob Woodward it. didn't say, say that. that. Well, I wish he had. <laughs> In my Twitter world, he did. Okay. And that's, the one was funny. And that's, that's what's that's wrong with America Twitter, today. The Twitter one that, is not news. The one that said uh, that his uh, the scent shield on his depends does, is insu- insufficient was funnier. Also, not news. And not funny. <laughs> tweeted funny though. By anyone gonna, of substance. By the way, you know who else has said that? Uh, our friend Noel Kastler has said the protective the scent protector on his depends is insufficient. Well, he would know. Yeah, he has spent time. Very, very up close. With and his Happy Hour podcast is the most downloaded podcast uh, of the year. So congratulations, Noel. Thank congratulations, you. Congratulations, Noel Kessler. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, have we played? Should we just start off by playing Trump saying, if only mobsters take the fifth and you only, when you're guilty, take the fifth? Do we have that? You see, the mob takes the fifth. Oh, that's right. If you're innocent, yes. why are you taking the fifth amendment? Right. Right. That was, uh, and he said that, I don't know. Over and over and over. And then cut to yesterday. Do we have uh, 24? 24. Yeah, 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 here he is. This is uh, the depot tape that was released. I once asked, if you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? I, I was that. asking that question. Mm-hmm. Now I know the answer to that question. When your family, your company, mm-hmm. and all the people in your orbit have become the targets of an unfounded, politically motivated witch hunt supported by lawyers, prosecutors, and even the fake news media, you really have no choice. Anyone in my position not taking the Fifth Amendment would be a fool, Uh an absolute fool. Okay. Okay. Or maybe you're super, super guilty. It sounds so sad. Guilty, guilty, guilty. So sad. So sad. So sad. Sad. So sad. Sad. Sad, weak, pathetic. Okay, so this... Low energy. (laughs) Yeah. How many of these do we have? This next one. Accordingly, under the advice of my counsel and for all of the above reasons, I respectfully decline to answer the questions under the rights and privileges afforded to every citizen under the United States Constitution. This will be my answer to any further questions. Sad. Also, you know, it's like there, he didn't say under my Fifth Amendment constitutional protections. He just said no. constitutional. Yes. He's, it, it's... This is real. This yeah. is really hurt. Yeah. He is both uh, guilty and mobby. Can I just say both. that's why the both of them. So he was right the first time. What he said about the fifth. But oh. okay. So. so the 2020 statement of financial condition contained false and misleading valuations and statements. Is that correct? Same answer. You knew at the time it was finalized that the 2020 statement of financial condition contained false and misleading statements. Is that correct? Same answer. In preparing the 2020 statement of financial condition. Alan Weisselberg, Jeff McConney, and others worked at your direction and followed your instructions to inflate asset valuations on the statement of financial condition by employing false or misleading assumptions. Is that correct? Same answer. Low energy. That last one is the one that really got me. Oh, yeah, he just gave up on life. Sad. Okay. They well, asked him if it was a signature on a document, and he said same answer. He pled the fifth to signing paper. Harry Lippman, our legal lad, yesterday said CBS News has footage of Trump taking the fifth in uh, New York AG's civil fraud suit. We knew it was there, but, uh, but there's nothing like seeing it as the jury will in the trial, basically four hours straight of taking the fifth over all financial questions. Um, and by the way, Tristan Snell, our buddy, our pal, mm-hmm. our other legal pat lad, said Trump may be in deeper trouble with the Manhattan DA than he realizes. He claims the Stormy Daniels matter is barred by statute of limitations, which is five years for felony falsification of records, but not if it's part of a continuing series of violations, then he may be screwed. And of course, like usual, he's got so blabby uh-huh. <laughs> on truths, whatever, Oops. Trump central, whatever his <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, that you're just like, no, first of all, you're wrong. And second of all, there, oh, that's where you admitted to it. Oh, and then he called Stormy Daniels a horse face. And she said, I think I'll take my horse face back to bed now. Yeah. Because you just admitted to everything yep. that I said was true. Yeah. So, you know. hey, speaking of musical treats, we have George Santos singing Hallelujah. Because why? Leonard we- Cohen's Hallelujah? Why? What? Why is he singing Leonard Cohen? <laughs> there. <laughs> so apparently there used to be this app 
Uh huh. It was like a karaoke app. Sure. And you could record yourself playing songs and post accounts. It was like okay. a social media thing. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody found his app account okay. and got okay. his. Was was this like a drag queen thing? No, it's just no, it's just him singing Hallelujah. Although although and he who, did. Who doesn't need that this morning? Although I can't find the good a good version of it, but he did sing Let It Go from Frozen. Too. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh no. Who's a pretty princess? I looked so hard for that yesterday and could not find a good version of it. For All right. Us. Well, we have this. Okay. <sighs> All right then. He's not even a good singer. Don't miss that note a little he's bit. But singing, not bad. The he's word. singing it like it's a happy song. It is a song about despair. <laughs> oh my it god! Like a Vegas lounge. <laughs> I just love that he hits. <laughs> he, he, he missed that a little bit. He, he has like a Peter, a Peter Brady moment. I am absolutely horrified <laughs> that he desecrated a song like that. I feel like I need to hear that again. I'm I was so proud of that when I'm I found it I'm in my Santo stack. Let me. <laughs> Who's playing the piano? It's a karaoke app. She oh. broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips, okay. she drew All right, her hair. <laughs> the hallelujah kills me. <laughs> Where's Simon Cowell when you still need him? That oh uh, was awful. Uh, um, Wow. I might just need to ask, isolate hallelujah. <laughs> Well, hallelujah, look at this poll. We mentioned this yesterday, but I did not know it was 78%. That's almost 80, Chris. Mm, yes, Eight I've heard. Yeah. It's a lot. Of voters in George Santos's district, including 71% of Republicans, mm. say he should resign from office. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, I, by the way, a lot of people were saying, I, I don't think he stepped down of his own accord. Oh, as, no. As someone who's, No. Yes. Who, oh, yes, Harry Littman said you can pretty sh be sure that McCarthy forced Santos to step down from committees, not based on what we already well, know, but what he knows we're going to find out. Well, didn't uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene admit that yesterday? What'd she say? She, she, like, she said that he, um, he, he stepped down to avoid some of the drama. and, and To it, spend more time with his drag but, queen family? But Chris Hayes, like, he, said that, he but presented it, was, it he, as Marjorie Taylor no. Greene. Okay, that's not, that's not quite how it was. Okay. I mean, she she. I read I read that article too, and it, if you go back thought. down and read her quote, it's it's not. All right. mm. It's not I think the there's way. there's more light loafers to drop. Oh yeah, is all I'm saying. Um, here's a happy thought. Black Knight tweeted: If Santos loses his congressional seat thanks to the change in House rules, any House Democrat can call for a vote to vacate the Speaker, and McCarthy doesn't have the votes to get his position. <laughs> a Speaker back. Okay. <laughs> it's like telling Tracy Flick. Okay, you got. You almost got. Whoop! And then it's on a like a. It's on a like a dollar bill on a string. Well, by the way, that's the it's on a slide whistle. The speakership is on a slide whistle. Just <laughs> they can't hold the vote right now to okay. kick uh, Ilhan Omar off her committees because right. there's too many people out. Right. On the Republican side, right? They would not win that vote if they tried to do it right now because they've got uh, enough no's and missing people. Right? They're screwed. Well, who's I'm missing? Sorry. Why they're, are people missing? They're just out. They're like for personal reasons. They're not. They, they were saying yesterday mm. on the news that they did mm. not have mm. enough. They okay. The good like news not is everyone shows up for work, and now that work from home is no longer an option. And proxy Santos, voting is not an option. Yeah. If Santos, you know, is forced to resign, I mean, the smart experts are saying that a Democrat will win that seat. So. Uh, yeah, the Democrats can manage to be there. Why can't the Republicans? Not everyone is always there for every day of Congress. Some people are out. Some people. Oh, are, here's and, and now that proxy voting and work from home is no longer allowed under their rules, they all have to be present to do the vote. Here might be another absence. If AG, our friend at Mueller, she wrote, it's correct. Considering uh, Matt Gates asked for a blanket pardon, both for 1-6 and sex trafficking, could that put all his crimes under the purview of Jack Smith? Please say yes. Um... That'd be fun. <laughs> that would be. I would enjoy that. 
I'm already having, I'm only in the first break. I'm already having too much fun. Just over possibilities. Aren't you just all a, a shiver with possibilities this morning? It's Man Meat Wednesday. Malcolm Nance yes. is here and yeah. Bob Seska and Carlos Alzaraki. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. I hope you'll join me on my new audio podcast, Justice Matters. I'll be using my 30 years as a federal prosecutor and Army JAG to unpack, break down, and explain the legal issues of the day, particularly where the legal intersects with the political. Please look for Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner wherever you generally get your podcasts.